Welcome to the Sant Mat Satsang Podcast, a production of Spiritual Awakening Radio. My name is James Bean. Today, wake up if you can. Some fair use selections from this great book of poetry of Kabir. Wake up if you can. Sayings of Kabir with reflections and mystic stories translated by Anthea Guinness. Now, earlier from her, I had acquired two volumes of selections from the Sar Bachan of Swami G. She had been working on in a couple of translations. Volume 1, A Path of Love, Talks with Swami G of Agra, Q&A with Swami G. Volume 2, Becoming a Disciple, Talks with Swami G of Agra. More Q&A from the Sar Bachan material. And then more recently, I noticed a volume three in that Sar Bachan series appeared called Hidden Treasure, Spiritual Poems by Swami G of Agra, translated by Anthea Guinness. So I thought I would get Hidden Treasure, and along with that, her book of Kabir poetry, Wake Up If You Can. And I'm enjoying all of these volumes, of course. She has one of Paltu Sahib poetry, which I don't have yet, called Dawn Has Come, Song Poems of Paltu. But the ones I do have, the majority of her books, certainly are pleasurable reading. And now let's focus on her project, Wake Up If You Can, Sayings of Kabir. Kabir poems. A bit of background on Kabir. Kabir is one of India's greatest poet mystics and spiritual masters in the history of India. Kabir lived during the 15th century, raised near Benares, India, by Muslim parents. He grew up in the impassioned poetry and deep philosophy of the Persian mystics like Rumi. He is, as he says in his hymns, at once a child of Allah and of Ram, He achieved a synthesis of Hindu and Muslim belief and freely used symbols from both religions. He was a weaver, a simple and unlettered man who earned his living at the loom. It is out of the heart of the common life that he sings his rapturous lyrics of divine love. Kabir is actually an Islamic name popular in the Muslim world. It's one of the 99 names of Allah, found in the Quran, meaning the greatest. Kabir was indeed a great soul, a kind of Christ of northern India, believed by some to be one of the most advanced souls to ever incarnate into the world in this yuga or epoch of time. Today, Kabir has over 25 million devotees or fans in various Kabir Panth and Sant lineages and is universally loved by Sikhs, Hindus, and Muslims alike. Kabir's hymns are still sung in the satsangs, or spiritual gatherings, of various spiritual paths all over India, and indeed around the world. Kabir is everyone's universal saint. He was a master, or Sant Sat Guru, of inner light and sound mysticism, Surat Shabad Yoga, and Sant Mat, the path of the masters. Kabir was a musician and poet of Narguna Bhakti, love and devotion for the one formless God. Kabir was a great teacher of Eastern mysticism and Gnosticism. He was a peacemaker between Hindus and Muslims, a social justice reformer, a social reformer in India who denounced the caste system considered by many in Islam to be a Sufi master or a Murshid, considered by Hindus to be one of India's greatest poet mystics and Vaishnava devotees. Considered a Bhagat by the Sikhs, many of Kabir's hymns are included in the Adi Granth, the Guru Granth, the Sikh scriptures. Kabir was greatly influenced by Garaknat and the Nath yogis, and the Nath or Nath yogis of northern India, were in turn influenced by Tantric Buddhism. And some Christian missionaries at first thought Kabir might have been a Christian mystic due to his use of the term word or Shabda 
for celestial music which reminded them of the Gospel of John chapter 1, In the beginning was the Word. Kabir freely used both Hindu and Islamic names for God. He attempted to make peace between Hindus and Muslims by pointing out that there is not a separate God for East and West, but one universal Spirit Supreme. Says Kabir, the Hindu says Ram is supreme, the Muslim Rahim, both die fighting each other, neither knowing the truth. The South is Hari's abode, Allah's camp is in the West. Look inside your own heart, inside your heart of hearts. There is his abode, there is his camp. Some introductory material on Kabir from one of my blogs, the Sant Mat Radhaswami blog. And now for some selections from Wake Up If You Can, Sayings of Kabir with Reflections and Mystic Stories, translated by Anthea Guinness. In this book, Wake Up If You Can, the pages to the left feature introductions to each of the poems, a kind of poetic introduction, or almost paraphrase of Kabir. So the pages to the left are very mystical and poetic as well, and then the pages to the right are actual translations from Kabir. Tranquility is an extraordinary state stillness so profound that even the soul's hearing and seeing are stilled. How to achieve that stillness? He doesn't tell us here, says Kabir, body still, mind still, words still, soul's hearing and seeing still, says Kabir, in a trillion lifetimes, you won't get a moment like that. Going inside is as simple as closing your eyes. For most disciples, easier said than done. Attention in Simran. The outlets for mind and senses close. The inner door opens says Kabir, it's your attention that does Simran. Your tongue says nothing at all. Close the shutters out here. Open up the ones inside. Unquote, says Kabir. In the Sant tradition, Simran, a term that means remembrance, as in remembering God by repeating his name or names, is done mentally with the tongue of thought, for the most part. There are some examples of verbal singing or chanting Simran or sacred names as well, but for the most part it is a manas jap or mental chant done within, with the tongue of thought in the mind. So here Kabir speaks of doing mental Simran or Mana's job, tuning out the outside world, opening the shutters to the world within. Next poem, or the next introduction to the next poem. Shabad is subtle, not physical. It permeates everything. Why listen to it? It's a question of freedom from transmigration. And enjoy, says Kabir. The sound is inside your body. Music plays. No strings anywhere. Outside, inside, it's everywhere. Listen to it and you'll be free from this whirling around. Death to Rebirth. 
To go where the mystics live, we need to unburden ourselves of expectations and concepts. All that thinking we are so proud of. But we want proof of the inner reality. Kabir says, sure, if you can fly. Says Kabir. This is poem 23. Kabir's home is at the summit. The way there, slippery, my friend. No hold, even for an ant's foot. But scholars try, loaded like a bullock. Lovers of God are rare, but when a real lover finds the beloved inside, they merge into the sound and light. Every thought saturated in that sweetness forever, says Kabir. I set out looking for a lover, a real lover, didn't find even one. When a lover meets, merges with a lover, poison becomes nectar, says Kabir. The eternal way to God-realization, love and longing, and the response to that incurable pain Suddenly the beloved inside fulfilled. Poem 64 When the slave is unhappy, God is unhappy. It's always been that way, always will be. In a moment he appears, in seconds lifts you up and gives you great joy. When love and longing evolve, the beloved cannot resist. He longs for his lovers as much as they long for him. Kabir Poem 78 Beloved, beloved, go on calling again and again. Don't go to sleep, persist. If you call day and night, he just might start calling you. A wonderful poem. Simran is something the devotee does day and night, repeating the name of the beloved, or names of the beloved. Whatever your initiation words are, revealed to you at the time of initiation by the Sat Guru. You repeat those names, calling out to God in a spirit of love and devotion, calling out to your beloved. So not dry mechanical mantras that you legalistically go through the motions of repeating to put in your required meditation time, but calling out in a spirit of love and devotion to your beloved. Simran that is dry, repetitive, tedious Simran will take you to a dry, tedious realm. But when you repeat names of God, when you do your Simran in a spirit of love and devotion, of Prem and Bhakti, you will be drawn to a realm of Prem and Bhakti. Absorbing Nam, drinking in the sound, the essence, Kabir says, you never come back down. Body and mind function here, but consciousness far beyond. Poem 80, Kabir says, Drink it down, this juice, if you really want to know your beloved. The effect, it never wears off. You'll stay high, intoxicated on Nam. Once you've Drunk the nectar juice, the essence. And one more selection from this book. 
this great book of Kabir poetry and reflections upon the teachings of Kabir. Kabir urges us to give time to meditation while we can and to give more time now. Says Kabir, ransack, raid, rob while you can all the treasure of God's name. Otherwise, you'll regret it in the end when your life breath drops you. Some selections today from Wake Up If You Can, sayings of Kabir, with reflections and mystic stories, a book of Kabir poetry translated by Anthea Guinness, the same person as I mentioned earlier, behind that three-volume set of Sarbachan material, A Path of Love, Becoming a Disciple, and Hidden Treasure. Some great mystic poetry from Anthea Guinness being made available in English. My pleasure sharing about this book of Kabir poetry, Wake Up, if you can. Some other recommended books of Kabir and about Kabir, since we're here discussing Kabir books. There is one called Songs of Kabir, some selections made by the famous Bengali poet Rabindranath Tagore. That's a classic, that's a wonderful must-read Kabir book, Songs of Kabir. The complete Bijak of Guru Kabir translated by my good friend from Canada, Dr. Jagasar Das, published by the Kabir Association. That's a must-read. The Bijak is the Satsang template of the Dharam Dasi branch of the Kabir Panth, and indeed the other branches of Kabir Panth also. That's their central, quintessential scripture, the Bijak, the treasure of Kabir. Another great book by Dr. Jagasar Das, Kabir, Songs of the Divine. Charlotte Vaudeville, the famous scholar, has a book called A Weaver Named Kabir, published by Oxford University Press. That's a must-read. Very scholarly translation with great footnotes. Robert Bly's paraphrase of the Songs of Kabir, the Rabindranath Tagore paraphrase, if you will, Robert Bly's volume called The Kabir Book. That still is a useful read, I think, even though it is a loose paraphrase. Praises to a Formless God by Professor David Lorenzen is a good sampler of some other related Kabir literature, prayers and poems and monastic or hymns of sadhus. And, of course, the Radhaswami Satsang Bayas, scienceofthesoul.org, has a nice big fat volume called Kabir, the Weaver of God's Name. There is a second edition of that book that was published not long ago that has some additional material in it. So even if you have the original edition of Kabir, the Weaver of God's Name, you'll find some new material in the latest edition, which I have in a box, which I received from India not long ago, with about 20 books in it, and I haven't gotten around to opening that uh, box yet and making room for some new books, but that new edition of Kabir, the Weaver of God's Name, is one of the books in there, and so I look forward to checking that out sometime soon. This has been a great time of acquiring many new books of Sants and Syriac mystics, Sufis and Gnostic texts. And this has been a great time for book acquisition here at Spiritual Awakening Radio. My name is James Bean. If you'd like to get in touch with me, my email address is james at spiritualawakeningradio.com. Visit my website, spiritualawakeningradio.com. From there, you'll find buttons and links and tabs that will take you to my various blogs, the Sant Mat Radhaswami e-library online, 
There is an embedded podcast player as well as an embedded YouTube player at my website. Links to various podcast venues and apps where you can hear this program at. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and uh, all the others. Or you can just simply go to Google and type in Spiritual Awakening Radio James Bean. And you'll find me at the app or podcast uh, site of your choice. I'm pretty much at all of them these days, as well as YouTube, as well as archive.org, the Internet Archive. So thanks for joining me today for the Sant Mat Satsang podcast, a production of Spiritual Awakening Radio. Today focused on a wonderful book of Kabir poetry, Wake Up If You Can. For millions of years, says Kabir, you have slept. This morning, will you not wake? <laughs>